human power can uh, overcome the vile god? Don't be naive. Now, my body just does what it wants. Ugh. What's going on? I feel power deep inside of me. The faith drop? It's reacting! Could this be the goddess's power? Lang, you did it! It's the goddess's power! It looks like she's finally revived! I can hear it! The voice of the goddess! She said she awakened because of your desire to protect Tiara, the girl with the Vile God's blood! Seriously? Sounds like she almost overslept, but better late than never! We can seal the Vile God now! Use her power! Do it, Fang! <laughs> I wanted to do this with my own power. Oh well, I'll accept this heavenly favor just once. Goddess, give me your power! This world, whose fate had been distorted by the vile god's power, did not return to normal as expected. The world went on, as did its people, living with the memory and the scars of the vile god. This new flow of time remained unchanged. The deal of the century here. You can look, you can touch. <sighs> Not a single potential buyer. I really messed up. Well, well, Miss Lola. What are you selling today? Some new Dorfa product. I bought a bunch for cheap when Dorfa went under, but they just aren't selling at all. Well, millions of people see Dorfa as pure evil now. Who would go near their stuff? I helped develop some of it, too, so I'm kind of conflicted. Hmm. With Dorf and the Vile God gone, I thought I could finally return to business as usual. My plans got all messed up. Lots of people were left jobless after Dorfa collapsed. You'll just have to be patient and wait for the economy to recover. Oh, Harley! Maybe you could at least take a look at this! Sashimi in a can! It's a truly groundbreaking culinary delight! That's one of mine! It was supposed to keep the sashimi fresh and cool. But thanks to a defect during manufacturing, they all spoiled. They still had some of those left, huh? Boy, that takes me back. What? So they sold me a bunch of useless junk? <laughs> well, there's no happiness without suffering, right? Do your best, okay? Oh, I'm way in the red on this one. You... You bastard! You took everything I own! I just wanted to rob you a little! No need to panic, my boy. Soji is washing your clothes as we speak. I finished the wash. I'm just ironing them now. <laughs> Quick work, as always. Okay, all done. Please try this on. Hey! Knock it off. I can't wear such clean clothes. How does it fit? I fixed the sleeves while I was at it. They seemed a little too long. I... I feel like my soul has been washed clean. 
Why did I ever want to be a bandit in the first place? If that's how you feel, you should live your life for others. Dirty clothes reveal a dirty soul. You must keep your soul well groomed. Oh, okay. Now then, on to the next destination. Even with the vile god gone, the world still suffers from chaos. Of course, Pippin. A martial arts teacher? That's right. I work for a security company now. And they need a good teacher. It's a perfect fit for you, don't you think? I must decline. I honed my blade for my own sake. It is not something I wish to teach to others. Apollonius! How long do you plan to keep using that excuse to avoid getting a job? <laughs> the world is at peace! What's the point of just honing your blade all the time? This is a good opportunity. Take it! <laughs> <laughs> Look at Apollonius cringe! Leave him alone, Vivian. So, what do you think, Apollonius? I could bring you on right now with very favorable contract terms. I understand. I suppose you can let them know I'm interested. as always. But please wait just a moment while I prepare our meals. Okay! Thank you for all you've done, Tiara. With your help, we were able to save our orphanage, even without Dorfa's support. You really don't have to thank me. This is just my way of atoning. Yes, I'm aware of your past. But as long as you are penitent, you are not a criminal in our eyes. I'm atoning for my entire existence, including the blood that flows within me. Ethel, you need to get up soon or you'll be late. No, not five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago. You're the one who wanted to start going to school. Now come on, wake up. Come on, up, up, up! Go get washed! Breakfast is waiting for you! Overworked. It's perfectly normal to go to class every day. Here, get dressed. The Vile God is gone. But the past we left behind hasn't returned. All those who died are still. I'm so sorry, sister. I thought perhaps you might yet live within this world. But even if not, if the power I wield can serve some small role in protecting this world, would that be enough to be forgiven?
when the vile god was sealed, the revived goddess fell into a deep slumber. Perhaps that seal is the reason for her existence. Meanwhile, the fairies, who are all part of the goddess, also disappeared. Even now, he may still be searching for his own lost goddess. <sighs> Not here, either. Where the hell did she run off to? My memories... My feelings... They're all disappearing, Fang. I guess I'm going back to the goddess now. I don't want this. I don't want to forget about you, Fang. I'll never forget you. Don't worry. You'll always be a part of me. Thank you. Goodbye, Fang. I love you. Just saying whatever idiot thing she wants, then disappearing. I'm the master, stupid. Leaving me behind is no way for a servant to act. I'm gonna find her. And when I do, I swear I'm gonna yell at her so hard. What was that? Yell at who? Who do you think? You, of course. Wait, Aaron? I've been right behind you for like ever, and you totally didn't notice. You're really easily distracted, you know that? No, I mean, you. I thought you were gone. Yeah, I thought so too. I don't know. Maybe the goddess heard my wish. Your wish? What was your wish? Well, you see, since you're so careless and unreliable and totally useless without me, I asked her to let me take care of you from now on. What the hell? It's totally the opposite. I'm the one always taking care of you. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter, right? I'm the fairy, and you're the fencer. Fairies and their fencers are always one. Well, I guess. Anyway, let's head back to town. Just dealing with you is making me hungry. Sure thing! <sighs> Aaron disappeared, and everyone else took off to do who knows what. I'm so bored. It's open. What's up? Weren't you supposed to start going to school? Yeah. Ethel says, we have today off for Founder's Day. Why are you back to saying kill again? Kill, kill, kill. I got a little too excited on my first day and all I could say was kill. But everyone loved it and now I can't go back. Is what Ethel said. What the hell kind of school are you going to? Kill, kill, kill. I figured you were lonely without Aaron, so I decided to keep you company. You should be thankful, is what she said. Isn't that nice? Don't be so nosy. Kill? A cute girl like me says I want to keep you company and you give me attitude? Grow up your own butt and die, is what she said. Shut up. Go play with your little schoolyard pals. I'm busy. Keep going and I'll tell your whole school you can talk normally. Kill! Kill, kill, kill! Whoa! Hey! Knock it off! No throwing things! Kill, kill! Lady kill! Meathead womanizer, dumbass idiot, jerk! Your mom's ugly! Is what Ethel just said. Yeah, okay, I get it! I'll hang out with you, okay? Jeez. Why don't we head into town then? Come on. Kill! Good grief, he's so dense. Not that Ethel's great at saying what she means either. When the vile god was sealed, the revived goddess fell into a deep slumber. Perhaps that seal is the reason for her existence. Meanwhile, the fairies, who are all part of the goddess, also disappeared. Even now, he may still be searching 
for his own lost goddess. So she wasn't there either, huh? I see. Yeah. I even brought some barbecue to try and draw her out with the smell of grilled meat. And all I got was a pack of wild dogs. Listen, are you sure she's really out there somewhere? When we sealed the Vile God, she told us she was disappearing into the Goddess. But the Goddess herself hasn't disappeared. So the possibility that Eren still exists somewhere is greater than zero. The preparations are all finished, Harley. Thanks, Bahas. Huh? You going somewhere? What do you mean, am I going somewhere? I'm gonna help you look for Aaron. Y you are? My knowledge might come in handy, you know? The more the merrier, right? We can help each other. Not that I mind, but why are you doing so much for me? Well, Aaron saved the world, right? I want to find her and tell her thank you. And of course, maybe I want to examine her just a little to find out more about the goddess. That tiny little body. <laughs> From top to bottom. You're drooling again, Harley. Sure, whatever. If you're coming, let's go. I was getting sick of traveling by myself anyway. Still, you're a man and I'm a woman. If there's some kind of mistake, you have to take care of it, okay? What do you mean, mistake? Oh, it's not something I can talk about here. Okay, let's be off. Hey, hold on. Something's not right here. I said hold on. Hey!